Hi guys, I'm Chelsea. I'm Christelle. And we're Blondie's Kitchen. Today we're going to show you how to make our Christmassy chocolate orange tiffin. It's good. Let's get going. First things first, we've got a medium non-stick pan. We're going to get our chocolate in and all our melting ingredients. We're going to go over to the hob. I'm going to go with the chocolate. Right, so let's get our pan on the hob. Get your chocolate ready. Lovely. Golden got syrup. And orange. our orange essence and a bit of butter. And we're going to go on a medium heat. And we've got milk chocolate that we're pouring. We've got 540 grams going in. Don't forget those last few. <laughs> I was going to eat them. You can add the butter straight in. Lovely. So we'll leave that to melt there for a few seconds minutes. So just give this a bit of a stir. You want to be really patient with this. You don't want to melt this really quickly because if you burn the chocolate, then you're going to have to start all over again. Chelsea, is this not your dream? I'm in a trance. It does take a while, but when it starts to melt, you're going to know this is worth the wait. As you can see, all the buttons have started to melt and now we've got like a smooth gorgeous, liquidy, chocolatey pool. So we're going to add in our golden syrup. This is when you need to be a little bit careful because you don't want to add too much because this could split the mixture. So it's one and a half tablespoons. Chelsea is very good at eyeing it. So she's just going in. And then we're going to mix that together. Now we're going to add in our orange essence. We always like to use a good quality orange essence where it doesn't actually taste orangey at all. Or if you didn't have orange essence, you could use the zest of a real orange and that's very punchy and flavorful. We're ready now, aren't we? <gasps> Look at that. Amazing. Let's start building our tin. So we've got a standard size loaf tin here. So I'm just going to cut a bit of greaseproof paper and line my tin. Christelle does this so beautifully. <laughs> well, I always say we make four snips. You can just buy the liners from... Yeah, loaf tin liners are amazing, aren't they? You just get the little crinkly edge on them that you might not want, but for this sort of thing, it really actually doesn't matter. Perfect. So this bit is really simple. So we're going to start building layers of our chocolate bars. We've chosen all chocolate orange because this is an orange... Tiffin. Tiffin. So we've chosen Terry's chocolate orange Smarties. And what we're going to do is we're going to start layering this. So we start off with the chocolate amazing, what would you even call that? This is our chocolate. It's like the glue. It's yeah, the glue. This is our chocolate mix. <laughs> mix. So you want to do one layer on the bottom and then you do a layer of biscuits and we're going to start building them up and they all will stick together. Amazing. Really gorgeous. So you want to work fairly quickly with this because when you add the golden syrup and the butter, it does harden the mixture. And you're just using the back of a spoon to smooth that around the whole base of the tin. Yeah, I am. Perfect. And that's going to be our starting base layer. And now we can get creative with all of our chocolate orange treats. We've got chocolate orange clubs, which I absolutely love. I forgot about those. <laughs> I'll try not to eat them. So we're going to layer our base up. Yum. Can we get another three, but three don't fit perfectly, so I have to cut the edges off. And now we need another layer. Is that Thank enough? You. Yeah. And then we're going to go in with a layer of our Smarties. This is your favourite, isn't it? I love these. Orange Smarties are the best ones in the pack, so the fact that they then bought these babies out. And then we're going to just do a layer of them. But you don't have to do it in the order, order we're doing. It's just what I fancy. And it's what you fancy. It smells so, so orangey. And orangey. <laughs> so we're just going to do one layer. But I'm going to hold some of these back because I'm going to decorate the top. Lovely. You want another layer? Another layer, please. I'll take my spoon. Then we're going to go in with these. I don't know if you've tasted these, but I'm telling you, they are different class. They've got like a tiny bit of a biscuit in them. The crunch and the flavour together is just insane. So we're just going to scatter those all over. Uh-huh. 
So now we're just gonna go in with the digestives on top of the Terry's chocolate orange. You just break those all up. They add such a nice crunch, don't they? Beautiful. Next layer, please. Sure. Tap down quite hard, and what you wanna do is you wanna try and get all the chocolate to sink to the bottom of the tin. And you will see they'll start to float slightly, but now I wanna see all the chocolates that I've got in there. So anything extra, I'm just going to decorate on top. So I've got some of the chocolate orange Smarties. I'm gonna just, oh, that one can be upside down. <laughs> Dot these around, and that one. And then the club bars. We always say you eat with your eyes. So for us, it's about making it look incredible on the top so you really know what you're about to tuck into. Now I've got a bit of chocolate orange terry segments. Mm. Put those on top. We're ready. I'm gonna give this one final tap. And now we're ready to set this in the fridge for at least four hours. Now we have our chilled chocolate orange tiffin. Honestly. What a mouthful. I know, I don't know how I said that. <laughs> but this is so good. Honestly, I can smell it. It smells Christmassy in here. And you just, just, just cut it. Pull it out of the tin. It's that simple. And there's your dessert. But we're going to make sure that we can show you inside and show you how to slice this perfectly. So all you want to do is remove the grease -proof paper, and that is why we grease-proof papered the, the tin. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get it out, and that would just be an absolute disaster. I want to let this come up to room temperature before cutting, so that it can go through easily with the knife. How long do we take it out of the fridge for? Just like an hour before an cutting hour before it? before cutting. I'm scared. No, you're not. I'm normally the scared one. Right, I hope the layers look good. Same. There's only one way to find out. Are we doing big chunks or small? So it's totally up to you guys. You could do squares, couldn't you? I think we should like go in for the slice, slice. and have a look. She's oh. going in. Listen. Wow. Oh. There look at go. the club bars at the bottom. That looks so good. So let's cut another slice. that's why you don't want it to be too fridge cold. cold because you want because you added the butter and the golden syrup it makes it more of a fudgier texture because if yeah. you ever set melted chocolate in the fridge it, it sets crumb. exactly the same as when you first cut it so yeah it's hard. and it can crumble and crack <gasps> that looks perfect let me try it let me cut it all okay 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 so i'm just putting my hand on top of the knife and pushing down yeah be careful and if you're doing this um, and you are making this, and you're a child, make sure you get an adult to supervise. She's supervising me. <laughs> Perfect. And that's the chef's perks bit. I'm ready for my chef's perk. <laughs> Yum. So, so that is how you make our amazing chocolate oh. orange tiffin. We really hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I promise you, this one is perfect for birthday parties, any sharing Christmas events you've got coming up, make this, or if you're going into the office and you wanna make sure mm. that your favorite at Christmas time, make this. Thanks guys. Mm.